Good morning, y'all. Welcome to my house. It's a little bit different than usual. We're at the theme park and you see me measuring test seats. Hello. <laughs> Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a gingerbread house, but not in your typical way. I'm gonna show you how to make your gingerbread houses without making them fall apart. So this is a little unorthodox from your typical icing. And this is very hot. I don't recommend any kids to do this. This is definitely an adult thing. Get some regular granulated sugar, nice, plain and simple. Get your plat, flat Teflon pan going here. Make sure it's piping hot. You're gonna pour the sugar clear on into the pan and kind of let it do its magic. I've got this again, it's on high. And I use a nonstick cooking pan here. This one is our Pioneer Woman one. And I've got my little Mickey spatula straight at you from Walt Disney World. <laughs> So we're just gonna go ahead and get this going. I'm gonna turn my heat up a little bit so I can get it nice and sticky icky for you guys. Not much for small talk, so please mind me as I stir. I'll just keep you guys watching here. And if you hear my kids in the background, I'm sorry. It is a Sunday fun day here at Casa de Canacne. <laughs> So we've got some Barbies going on, some Christmas crafts going on here at the house. And uh, as you see, you got good old mom over here melting down some sugar to get these uh, gingerbread houses put together. Um, this year I went ahead and kind of bought a pre-made kit. Didn't do any baking or graham crackers. Um, just didn't have time this year. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, my husband had a stroke um, at the beginning of November. So I've been kind of busy um, with taking care of things on the home front with him. So things that we would usually do this time of the year, we've kind of had to put on the back burner a little bit. So um, no baking gingerbread houses or gingerbread cookies this year for us, but we're still gonna have some good old uh, Christmas fun. This year we went ahead and got the Oreo ones because I don't know about you guys, but when you buy those pre-made houses, the cookies are pretty much made about a year ago. They don't taste real good. <laughs> so um, you pretty much make it to kind of just decorate everything. But we wanted to make these actually edible this year. So we went ahead and got the Oreo cookie ones. Um, we have a daycare here at our house as well, and we're having a big old daycare party here tomorrow. So um, we're gonna let the kids get everything decorated, my kids, and then they're gonna present them at the party for all of the kids to enjoy and actually munch on and get it out of the house. <laughs> so we won't have it sitting here through Christmas. So as the sugar melts down, you see it kind of looks a little hot and gooey. Yes, it's gonna actually turn about black at some point. It's true. Um, it doesn't look attractive, but I'm gonna tell you what. It works. My husband's working the camera for me and he can actually vouch for you on this one. Have we ever had a gingerbread house fall apart in this house, babe? Nope. <laughs> so I'm gonna take that off and move it aside. Again, make sure everything you're using is stick proof. So we've got these the little guys. So you dip it in and then stick it on. It actually stays right together, guys. Best little trick ever. I worked in long-term care for about, what, babe, 20 years almost? Yeah, about for about something like that. 20 years, and one thing I do know is that uh, my folks in the nursing home always, always love to make gingerbread houses. So you try making 50 gingerbread houses with icing and let me know how it goes. You pick up tricks along the way for sure. Now look at that. We got ourselves a little house. And we don't have to worry about that sucker falling apart on us either. For the roof. And just for the record, I had no idea this was a roof. You can thank my husband. He knew. Okay. Now again, it's really hot guys, so be very careful. Try to dip it and keep it together there. There we go. 